I think that's better. So hi guys, welcome and welcome to my YouTube channel in case you're new here. My name is Carol Charles, but you can call me Wasam if you want to. So welcome home. This is a home of lessons. We learn each and every day. And I want to do a quick one. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up and comment down below. In case of any questions, guys, write it at the comment section and God will bless you. I've preserved this part for me to attach what I'm going to talk about time after time. So I'm here to talk about uh, or to talk to stay at home moms. Why? Yoshio. Yoshio. Why? Why? So I'm here. I think I need to change him those shoes. So I'm here to talk to stay at home moms. Uh, I want to say don't ever feel worthless. Don't ever feel discriminated. Don't ever feel underestimated. Don't even ever let you let someone discriminate you. You are worthy and you have a purpose you know, in this world. The reason as to why most of the stay-at-home moms are just at home without you know, knowing what business to do and without even making an income is a lot of women don't know what to do while at home to earn a living. It's so unfortunate, but I thank God I've come up with this video. As a stay-at-home mom, I thank God because uh, I'm privileged enough to share my knowledge and the little wisdom I have with you guys. So stay tuned and God will bless you. So the first um, business that we can do from home as a stay at home, at home mom is the deco business. So what do I mean by deco business? When it comes to decos, it's a broad topic or it's, a, you know, it's something big. Decos are of many types, many designs, and uh, they are, uh, you know, they are used in different places. They are indoor decos and outdoor decos. Yes. So, <clears throat> personally, I started with the indoor decos, and I have done sunburst decorations. I have done pillows, and I have done, I've also done, um, you know, placing flowers, you know. I've done a lot of things. And uh, it's something that really brought good money for me. So it's a business that, that brought real good money. Now, I want to show you over here about a certain video that I did whereby I was talking about sunburst decoration as a business. Yes. So about that video, I have talked about where to get the materials, how much they cost, about the packaging, about the deliveries, everything you need to know about sunburst decorations. So you can go check out that video. Then I now, after some time, came up with a video where it was totally a DIY. I taught people on how now to make those decors. So you can also check out that video. Yeah. It's a DIY sunburst decoration. I've taught people how three, how to make three different designs. I think the peacock design, round shape design, and the S shape mirror design. So you can also go check out of that video. Another thing that I also did uh, concerning decors is the pillows. Yes, you can do, you can make draw pillows by yourselves at home. Let me list down what you need, and then I'm going to show you the video that you are going to watch. The things that you need while making the pillows, you need uh, materials, uh, you know, a piece of fabric, you need fiber. I don't know how people say that. Fiber, there's a name that they, call, they, they mention before saying fiber. I think silicone fiber, I don't know. Anyway, fiber, th there are those things that they put uh, inside the pillow. And uh, they look like cotton wool, but they're not cotton wool. So you can uh, use uh, the, fi the fiber, materials, buttons, and only a piece of dre uh, uh, some threads and needle. Of course, the thread has to match with the color of the fabric. 
so go check out on that video i'm not going to explain so much because i don't want to take a lot of time uh, talking on you know about one thing so go check out on that video as well uh another thing i did uh concerning decors i also did mats door mats yes in this time i i made a whole <laughs> mat for my house that was i think two one or two years ago and let me tell you those mats were bought i thank 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 god so i'm also i've not done that a diy uh i've not done it yet but i'm going to come up with that video where i'm gonna show you guys how to make um how to make mats by yourself you can use there's a method uh there are many methods you know of, uh, of making mats personally i used to i used the punching needle i gave it out to a friend so i, I don't have it to show you but you can also use crochet but crochet okay some people call it crochet but i think it's pronounced crochet so a crochet you you can even take one month making a mat you while using a crochet so i will not advise you on that there are a lot of things to do um there's also a video that i did uh recently you can also go watch it out where i've uh, i've done a diy of a wall hanging decor so you can also check it out i have lots and lots of videos and i'm coming up with many 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 videos so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe uh the next thing that you can do from home is the wig making wig making just as you can see um i uh, this is not a a weave <laughs> it's a wig i made it by myself so you can also check out that video guys it's free to watch <laughs> and i teach you for free so that's why i'm saying this is a channel uh for lessons you know it's a home for lessons so any knowledge that i have any wisdom that god has blessed me with i share with you guys for free and i i thank god for that not all people who can tell you even where to get materials you know like in details but for me i am doing that because i love you guys and i want to see you guys earning something from home i proudly can say i'm a rich housewife yes you will be one very soon anyway um about the weave and uh, the wig you go buy weaves weave you know the weaver so you buy weaves you know you you are gonna use a, a dummy head and um how is it called a wig cap then you just make your wig yes i don't want to talk much about that but go watch out that video that i'm showing you showing you on my left let me talk a little bit about it i bought it uh the weave i i bought i used two packets and one packet went for goes for uh, 530 kenyan shillings so two will be 1060 bob kenyan shillings so even if you sell it at um at 2000 kenyan shillings it's not bad now apart from that let's go to another business that you can do from home another business that you can do from home actually is uh the daycare business start a small daycare it does not matter how many kids that you're gonna start with but start a small daycare just at home from your home like you don't have to rent a place to you know to bring to to bring kids but it's good that uh to just start from your home um concerning that you can uh charge according you know in days you can charge in weeks yes if that's better from where i am i am i am living or where i am forgive my english by the way so uh, they normally charge 100 bob per day yes and 100 per day includes uh the child must come with diapers and what well, my spray no 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 the child must come with diapers and food if a child does, doesn't come with diaper and food you are going to charge of course a higher price let's assume you have like 10 kids in a day in a week let's assume uh in five days you have your yeah, five thousand kenyan shillings which is not bad which is not bad and in such a kind of money 
while at home actually is good. Another thing that you can do from the comfort of your home is bake and sell cakes. And apart from that, you can also cook food and sell from home. I have a church mate who actually does that and she's doing so well. She cooks from home. Yeah, she cooks from home and she delivers the food to her local customers. It's that good. And she earns good money. Let's go back to the cake. The cake, you are going also to just bake them from home and advertise them online. You can advertise them online. You can advertise them by word of mouth. And you're going to get clients. Yeah. You can st you can make many, uh, you know, different designs and different sizes. Uh, birthday cakes, wedding cakes, it depends. I had known of a, a friend, uh, my mom's friend, who actually started from home and now she owns a very big bakery. She started with a Jiko and a Sophoria. She had that passion and she never gave up. Of course, challenges are there. No matter what you're doing, challenges are there. Not only the cake business, but anything you do, challenges are there. So uh, she never gave up. And right now she owns a very big bakery uh, in a place called uh, Narumoru. So for those who know Narumoru, that's where I was raised. And uh, she's doing so well. Apart from that, I don't want to dwell so much on one thing. Uh, anyway, another business or something that you can do from home is you can uh, uh, do the online freelance writing job. Personally, let me say that's what I do. Yes, that's what I do. And I think that's what I'm concentrating so much on because it has real good money. Uh... Let me see the requirements if you uh, because I, I believe uh, some people don't know what that is. The requirements, first of all, are you must have a laptop and internet access. A laptop and internet access. Then, <laughs> if you don't have an account, personally, I have an account and I have writers who work under me. So if you don't have an account, don't feel, you know, that like you can't do that kind of a job. Of course, you can do that kind of a job. So you uh, look for someone who has an account like me or anyone, any other person, who, um, anyone else who has an account. And we normally charge, uh, we normally pay the writers 250 to 300 Kenyan shillings per page. So you can be lucky enough to get uh, even 40 pages, 30, 20, 10, even one page, according to the season, according to the topic. The uh, Another thing that, you, okay, you must also be a good writer, write, uh, you must know how to write in different styles and of course write different topics. The price also depends on the season and also with how you will agree with your client. So if you don't have an account, don't feel uh, as if you can't do such kind of a job. Just search for someone who has an account and he or she is going to give you a job. And if you are not familiar with that kind of a job, also search for an online writer or an essay writer, rather. And uh, that person, uh, you know, attend some sessions. Learn how to write those because it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's not so easy. It's not so hard, by the way. It's something that you you will just you know do it from home. So you have all the time to learn. Uh, so by the time you are you you are familiar with the job and you are good to go, uh, things are just going to be good. During high seasons, writers re earn good money. And this business is appreciated so much by campus students. That's the aside hustle. And do you know, those uh, campus students have saved up money and bought their own accounts. Most of the campus students, like a cousin I know of mine, he, started a, he studied a certain course. I don't remember about survey or something. But <laughs> after realizing that the online writing job is giving him real good money, he has never even done that survey. He has ventured so much in online uh, jobs 
because you know it's a job that can give you even a hundred thousand in a week trust you me so uh it's a nice it's a, it's also a nice job to consider as a stay at home mom if you have the skills to write now let me go to the last last uh thing you, you can do from home as a stay at home mom another thing you can do from home is what i'm doing right now youtubing be a content creator so now let me talk about the requirements for you to start being paid by youtube i want to notify you first that youtube does not like pay you uh when you upload your first video like pop 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 you start getting money no the requirements are you have you must have attained 1000 subscribers uh 10000 views and of course 4000 watch hours so when you attain that you are able to be monetized and eventually you start earning money yeah it might take months it might take years it might take yes it might i know of a content creator she's a lady who said she it took her two and a half years for her to be monetized yes <laughs> so Abu, let me ask you will you be idle for those two and a half years waiting for youtube money no you will be doing something else of course so um i i don't want to say that it can't be a full-time job because i also know of people who are doing youtubing as their full-time job because let me tell you if you have good content you can make good money and let me tell you you as a youtuber i think every youtuber enjoys doing youtube like creating content like for me i'm struggling so hard because i have a lot of things I've, i have to raise my kids i have to run my uh, online account i have to make sure that i deliver my uh, my items a lot of things i do and i also have to make you people uh you know how is it called <laughs> forgive me I have to make sure that my YouTube account as well is running. Like, if, if I, I'm struggling to upload two or three videos in a week, but I'm like trying my best. So I'm trying my best to do that because of course YouTube uh, requires consistency. You have to be consistent, consistent, <laughs> uh, so that you know you are you are fans will not get bored so people are eager waiting to see what other content you are going to show them like when you, you, they are going to watch and that's the importance of subscribing so whenever you, you subscribe you are going to be notified anytime i upload another video yes that's the importance of subscribing and of course when i uh as a content creator, you attain the 1,000 subscribers and the other uh, whatever that I've listed earlier, you are going to start receiving money. So as a stay-at-home mom, there are a lot of things you can do and showcase them at your YouTube channel. Um, you can do that. You can cook. Yes, you can do makeup, you can do fashion, you can travel, you can talk to your fellow uh, women and tell them later. You can show you can talk to your fellow women uh concerning different topics. You can talk about um how to manage money as a mom, how to raise your kid, how to handle a toddler. There are many, many, many topics you can talk about and there are many, many also content you can do as a mom. You can show people how to, you know, prepare meal preps. You can show people, you know, a different recipes, re recipes, recipes, yeah, it depends on your necessary school teacher. So you can cook different uh, kinds of food. You can do cleaning. You can uh, do a vlog called... Um, cleaning and organizing arranging and organizing something of the sort there are lots of things that you can do and of course the, we have a lot of women doing such kind of content doing such kind of content of course they are earning money from youtubing yes they are full-time moms and and uh you know being a full-time mom you're not paid by anyone <laughs> you're only paid by god 
you know that nature uh but you have to find something else that's that's gonna make you earn money and a living so let me tell you and uh you can go check out on uh, a lady called beatrice wandia yes beatrice wandia if i'm not wrong she's a woman who has who is doing so well in youtube she's a stay at home uh, she's a content creator who is earning real good money and she's a stay at home mom so every other time she's uploading nice content and people really watch that <laughs> so that's also another thing that you can do let me finish by saying the most most important thing you can do all that that i've listed but without nice marketing skills my dear friend my dear sister <laughs> no one's gonna buy your products no one's gonna buy your items actually no one's gonna know you you must have nice marketing skills or advertising skills if you may call it let me tell you <laughs> i'm not bragging but i normally have nice marketing skills when it comes to my whatsapp status when it comes to my f f you know facebook page wherever that i post my products i have very very nice marketing skills and it's not just you know it's just by the grace of god by word of mouth well now let me give you a very short story one day i was doing a mtumba business <laughs> I would collect clothes from Gikomba and of course I would sell them. I was not somewhere at in a shop. I was in an open place. So I would pick my clothes the the items from Gikomba and I would come sell them where I live. I was somewhere in an open place and let me tell you. I was shy at first. I didn't know how am I going to call people to come buy my items. <laughs> And I remember when I was young, I used to laugh at those, like, I was, I used to see it weird. At you are calling people, oh, Sonny, Billy, Sonny. No. Ah, okay, I, for me, I like was, ah, am I going to do that? I don't think I'm going to do that. But let me tell you, the first time, the first day, <laughs> I nethered, if you know what I mean. The second day. I knew that I would like just sit down and wait for people to come. Whether you come, whether you don't come, okay, I need customers, but I'm not enticing them to really buy my products. You know, these are, people are different. There's someone who will just come and buy without even you calling him or her. And there's someone that you have to have, you know, you, you must call him or her in a way that will attract him <laughs> in a godly way. <laughs> and that person will actually buy what you are selling yes so for me hmm, listen to this the first day i did nothing i was just sitting down and waiting for the customers to come the second day i knew the other the day i knew the other the whole of that week i was like oh my god is there any problem with me so i psyched myself up I went to a cyber and printed, uh, I used to sell the, my clothes at 200 to 250 Kenyan shillings, depending on the design and depending on the quality of the, I used to, I started with selling kids jackets. Now, that's how I started. For me to be where I am, oh my goodness, I'll give you that testimony one day, one time. Stay tuned. <laughs> now I went to the cyber and printed printed those uh, papers and laminated them and of course that one also brought uh that one also brought custom uh, customers yes baba you're not going to play with this then little by little hey, i started seeing oh my god i might stay here for a whole month without people coming where huh <laughs> I started Sony Billy, Sony Billy, Beba Naso, Beba Naso. You know, the for years you start now selling them at 100 bob. Although, depending on the amount of money that you bought them for. So, me, I shouted. I started, oh my God, and people came. I shout, shout, shout. And you know, a lot of women don't know how to whistle. Like, <laughs> so for me, I was lucky enough <laughs> to use that. So, I would call them Sony Billy, Sonny Billy, Beba Naso, Billy, Beba Naso, Sony Billy, Sonny. Billy, Sonny Billy, Sonny Billy. 
Like, I would shout, come, why? I shouted. People started coming. People started coming. And the first uh, week I bought, uh, no, not even the first, the first two days after announcing, all my products were bought. And I went back to Gekomba, where? I would at times even at home shout by myself, Sony Billy, Sony Billy, Sony Billy, Beba Naso, Beba Naso. <laughs> and people, oh, well, let me tell you, <laughs> there comes a point in life that you have no choice. <laughs> have to, uh, you must have nice ed uh, uh, editing skills when uh, doing YouTubing and also a nice camera. By the way, I'm using my selfie. So you can see or you can guess how good my phone is. It's a Realme GT Master. You can check it out, maybe at the online shops. Realme GT Master Edition. And uh, even right now, when I go to Dubai, I'm going also to use this phone. It's good. It's It, it, it takes up to 4K resolution, which is a nice quality. Um, another thing you must put God first, and in everything now and you also have must have nice marketing skills because no one's gonna buy your items if you don't know how to bring people to buy them yes so uh, stay blessed stay tuned don't forget to subscribe because i have many 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 videos along the way maybe you can comment down below uh what you want me to do next so uh your request is my my command or what anyway Stay tuned, be blessed, and see you in our next video. I was thinking of doing a house tour, a weekly vlog, I don't know. But anyway, I have I have time to do that because, you know, I've seen how, how, how well people are embracing content, content creation. And right now, my pillow, my pillow video, my DIY pillow video is, has shooted and have, has shot, has shooted, I don't know. And I thank God for that. Go watch that, out that video. It's very, very simple to make. Materials are locally available. Don't stay at home wondering what to do. You will start at times. There are those, there are those things that you can start from, you know, things from home. Yeah. You can reuse things and make a living out of that. I know a lot of me, people want to um, support their husbands, but they don't know um how to start a lot of women they don't know where to what to do they don't know where to start they don't have the capital let me tell you it's not a must that you start with uh with uh, you know a lot of money no when i did gikomba business i went there with three thousand kenya shillings i think two thousand two thousand to three thousand kenya shillings and it's a business that did well yes and here i am so God bless you. Put God first. Uh, the Bible says that you are, you have not cause you ask not. Pray, pray, because God is the one who gives us whatever we need. He says in Matthew that knock and you shall be answered. You know, knock and the door will be opened to you. Ask and you are going to be answered. You have not cause you ask not. Pray, you know, you don't have whatever you have because you don't ask for it. You have to ask for it. And the Bible says in Deuteronomy 18, 8, is it 18, 8, 18, that it is God who gives us the power to become rich. Yes. So silver and gold belongs to him. You have to ask and he, uh, God is going to give you whatever you need because he's the one who gives us the power to become rich. All these ideas are from God. Ask God to give you, to give you an idea and know what to do with your life. There are people making millions of money while at home. You might think that is someone, uh, she's a housewife, she does not have money. Don't ever judge anyone like that. A lot of stay-at-home moms have money than even people out there who have physical jobs that you are seeing. That someone has a hotel, someone has a, a boutique. There's someone at home earning a lot of money than that person out there. So don't ever judge anyone. And... Uh, work hard, work hard, and be all around. As you raise your kids, also do something to support your family and to have a living and to have some money by yourself as a woman. Stay tuned. God bless you. Bye bye. I love you so much. See you in our next video. Write at the comment section what you want me to do next, and I will do that by the grace of God. Bye bye.